So. We'll do this anyway. <laughs> <laughs>covering it like this with my hand so it doesn't squirt out and when I pull this needle out it ain't gonna shoot back at me in the iron nothing stupid. And I'll show you here in a second. Mm-hmm. Let me get up a little closer. Oh no, it's not into that. Oh there it is. And a lot of people that there are a lot of different ways, I'm gonna rephrase that. There are a lot of different ways to barbecue. <laughs> How you say it? Barbecue. Barbecue. And, you know, there's your way. There's, I mean, there obviously are wrong ways, but some people are totally into doing injections, and some people are totally, no, you don't need to inject. You know, do what you like. Um, like I always say, you do you. Yeah. Make it yours. Yeah. So we're just trying this. Um, we've recently got, we've smoked things for years, like, since Josh and I have been together, he's always smoked turkeys for Christmas, Thanksgiving. They're hard to keep lit. Yeah. <laughs> Easter, you know, whatnot. And we've, we really enjoy it. That's obviously it's good food. But this, we're just trying different things. So if this, you know, injecting is not your cup of tea, that's okay. But we're just trying it, seeing how we like it. We may not inject again. Or we may be doing this all the time and showing you different concoctions that we've got mixed up in there so just you do you and we'll do us so now well, we got it injected I'm gonna grab some foil over it step in the refrigerator if I find a place to put it and uh, let her sit for a little bit. All right, guys, 4.30 in the morning. I'm tired and grouchy. Not really, that's good. Today, I'm gonna get this bad boy going. This is a nine and a half pound pork butt, pork shoulder, whatever you wanna call it. You see it's injected. It's going down, there's three little pigs, a touch of cherry. Get this dude rubbed down. Smokers are fired up, getting ready. Mm -hmm. And I can smell that as soon as you opened it. I'm gonna cook this fat side down because I want that fat to kind of melt down, render out, and protect some of this meat. It's gonna be good in this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> God, this bad boy. This one I'm excited for. I'm excited for this one, but Jess and I are both excited for the Tristan's little brother. <laughs> Whatever it's called. 
Just a little prism. Yeah. Really, I don't know what the, that's in that. You can really smell it. I don't know. Chris smell like that. Got coffee smell like it. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. See, he's put the pork butt on there. We're gonna let her go for I don't know four or five hours. Go ahead and check on it. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, been going for four hours, a little over four hours now. Temperature started dropping a little bit, so I come out and put some more uh, mesquite in there. What? Probing pretty good. So, it what? It's probing pretty good. Oh, sorry. So we're gonna get our uh, pork butt off here. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot what it was. I'm gonna take them in, let them rest for about a half hour, and then we'll get this pulled. Show you what we end up with. All right, guys. So we're back. I just pulled this bone out. It pulled right out. We hit that target temp. Look at that. Oh, it's the shoulder. I didn't realize it had a bone in it. Why do they call it pork butt if it's the shoulder? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? I bet Dees would like to have this one. I bet he would. Gunner, you can't have it because you get sick too easy, buddy. Now, when you do this, you're going to want to wear gloves. Look at that smoke on that. Oh, that looks really good. That's not not done. That's I mean, I hit 190 and I let it rest. Okay. So I got that bone out of there. Got that nice bark on it. Look at that. That's all you to come out of it. Your son. Here, baby. You gotta try this. Okay. Look at that. That's hot. A little bitty piece. That's hot, son. Hmm. It's very good. That's got a nice smoky flavor. I mean, it's almost all the way through. You can see that. I've got these but. little... I got these uh, bear paws. I'll start calling them bear claws. But that way you can really shred it. I'm going to let it rest a little bit. Oh, it's just coming apart. And a little bit longer so I can touch it because I ran out of rubber gloves to put over the top of my uh, white cotton heat glove thingies and uh, I'm going to shred it apart with these where if I do touch it with my fingers a little bit it didn't it's called the crap out of me that's so good so I didn't sauce it I just put the rub on it like y'all seen um, I think we hit, what, 155? Mm -hmm. I pulled it, wrapped it, shut the smoker basically down because we left went to church. It was gone for an hour or so. Uh, I don't know if there's missing parts in this video. It's been a long day. A really long day. We've been up since four. And uh, come home, went down to the in-laws, had... Uh, dinner for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, by the way. I know you're going to see this after Father's Day, but happy Father's Day anyway. Uh, this wasn't where I wanted it, so I brought it back. I'm not going to lie to you. I took it down there. It was done, but it wasn't to the tenderness that I wanted it, so I brought it back home. They're not a quarter mile down the road. Um, threw it back on the smoker in the au jus in the pan here, and let her go until it hit exactly where I wanted it, 190. And brought it in, let it rest for half hour. And 
you know, like I said, you you seen the video, I'm sure it's still steaming, smoking. But I'm gonna It's really good I'm though. I'm gonna do this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's good. It's tender. It is tender. It's juicy. It's messy. I know I didn't get to show you a whole lot about uh, what I've done with the smoker and everything. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the chicken video, the pork loin video, and the uh, beef chuck roast video. Which turned out awesome, both of those uh, did. The chuck roast, I know I'll, I'll get some more footage on that next time. I do, I'm going to do that again. That was really good. That's excellent. Uh, but I'm going to wrap this video up, get this rested, pulled apart, and I'm not going to sauce it. I'm going to take it down. We're going to have it uh, tomorrow night for supper at uh, my mother and father in law's because pork, pork is his favorite. So we didn't get to have it today, but uh, we'll have it tomorrow. I got all my barbecue sauces. You guys seen all them videos now. Um, let them, whoever is there, there, use whatever kind of sauce they want. And uh, go from there, I guess. I guess you've seen a taste test. It's, you see, I mean, that just. Well, maybe tomorrow we'll wait and post this video till we, we see what it looks like tomorrow when we go down to eat. I just can't get over that smoker and look how deep yeah, that went. I know. And it doesn't taste. Like, it's uh, not overpowered. No. I used uh, mesquite wood again. Uh, I wish I would have had some apple wood or some kind of fruit wood to put in there, or some peach or something. I just didn't have any, so I just used mesquite. I'm covered in junk now because I've been working out in the garden and everything else. But um, these things are tough. Where you get them where it says the what? Least. They pull it apart good. And I call them bear claws. He says that's not what they are. Bear claws is what it says on them. Oh, okay. No, I never write a check. I know you don't. Bear claws are donuts, right? Yeah. I always say the wrong thing. Like, it's just my, you know, I say Lazy Susan's when I mean... Chase Lounge. Chase Lounge. And there's a lot of au jus. Is it warm still? That can be dad's piece. <laughs> I'll say I hope we don't have to wait to eat that until he gets all the fat off of it. <laughs> be here tomorrow. <sighs> My dad eats fat. Josh does not. No. I think my dad says, Josh, what does he say? He, he dissects steaks? Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Kildare. Brain surgery. <laughs> Brain surgery. All right. Hope so. you guys like this video. If you do, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed, please. Doesn't cost you anything. And thank you to our servicemen and women for keeping a little line on the farm. That's right out there. Uh, got any questions, comments, anything else? Leave them down below. I'll uh, try and put some more information down in the description box. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.